Okay guys, now let us talk about the assembly of an actin filament and uh, we know that actin filaments are really important inside the cell for maintaining the structure and integrity of a cell uh, but now we are going to look at how these actin filaments are getting assembled with each other to make the actin polymer which is uh, giving the cell tensile strength. Now here is the major cytoskeletal protein of most cell uh, is actin. Individual actin molecules also called the G-actin are globular proteins of 375 amino acids. Now this G-actin is described as having a pointed uh, end and uh, the broadened end. So we can see here this is the pointed end portion, this is the barbed end uh, portion. Now the G-actin monomers polymerize to form actin filaments. The assembly begins with the nucleation of three monomers to form a trimer. Now the polymerization proceeds from both ends yielding a filament called F-actin. Okay, so here we are looking at this. So it, it will start to interact with each other to make the polymer of actin. Now this is this first make the nucleus, which is a trimer of F actin, and then finally it elongates to make the F actin filament, uh, which is called the filamentous actin. Now the polymerization is a, a reversible process in which monomers both associate with the di and dissociate from both ends of the filament. At high concentration of uh, free subunits, the filament grow uh, go at each end, but uh, growth is faster at the barbed end. So as you can see, at the barbed end, this growth is really really faster, but at the pointed end, the growth is not that much fast. Okay. Uh, when the concentration of the free actin monomers falls below a certain level, the barbed end will continue to increase in length, uh, but the pointed end will decrease in length, resulting in the phenomenon called the trade milling. Now, this trade milling is really, really important and most probably the most important phenomena in uh, the actin filament assembly. Now, the trade milling can be de 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 depicted in a cycle diagram in which there is a net gain of sub uh, subunits in the barbed end and the equivalent and net loss of subunits at the pointed end. So that is the net, net loss at the pointed end which will come here and this subunit go at the, uh, at the barbed end and, and it will start uh, to make uh, the positive effect on the barbed end. The treadmill cycle depends on ATP which is bound to the monomers that add uh, to ends of the filament. Now actin monomers at the barbed end and therefore bound to the ATP however soon after polymerization they are always filled with ATP. Okay. Uh, after the polymerization the ATP is hydrolyzed to ADP resulting in a zone uh, of ADP bound monomers towards the pointed end of the filament as you can see in this picture. Now this ADP bound actin which is primarily at the point uh, at the pointed end of the filament dissociates more readily from the filaments that ATP bound actin. In contrast actin bound to ATP associates more rapidly or readily with the rapidly growing barbed end. Okay. So ATP binding and ATP hydrolysis play a very very important and key role in the dynamic behavior of the actin filaments as we can see in this picture. A number of different types of actin uh, binding proteins remodel the mo and modify the existing filaments. This includes the protein called ADF cofilin and profilin. ADF uh, cofilin proteins bind to actin filaments and enhance the rate of dissociation, as you can see here. Okay, and and uh, uh, and uh, at the pointed end. And also there are profilin which can reverse this effect of cofilin. Profilin acts by stimulating the exchange of bound ADP for ATP. That means it, it is making more and more ATP bound actin filaments and that's why it can uh, arrange uh, themselves in the barbed end and can elongate uh, the actin fiber. Okay. And uh, which dissociates from cofilin and are then available for assembly into filaments as you can see in this case. Now in addition to enhancing uh, the loss of ADP actin from the pointed end, ADP, ADF cofilin can uh, sever actin filaments. Now ADF cofilin bind to the ADP chain, severing the filament and creating new barbed and pointed ends. So that's how the things are doing. Okay. So that's important for the purpose. Now, although new filaments can begin spontaneously in the cell, two types of proteins, including one is called the forming uh, protein, uh, uh, determine whether the filaments are formed. Okay, formin binds to the monomers and facilitate the nucleation process to make the first nucleus of the actin filament assembly, which is the trimer of G actin. Now, forming binds to the monomers and they make this uh, nucleus in which three monomers are joined, and right after that, 
polymerization proceeds quickly it is uh, through that forming nucleate long unbranched actin filaments such as those in muscle cells and thin filaments as you can see okay so this is the unbranched long section of the actin filament as you can see here okay in the muscle cells now at the leading edge of the moving cell actin filaments trade milling and the branch uh, ex ex extensively uh, can be done the branches are nucleated uh, by the ARP 2 3 complex so ARP is another kind of protein which starts to make this bunch like that this is the ARP protein which binds near the barbed end of the microfilaments and forms a new branch like the uh, other actin binding proteins ARP 2 3 helps to promote the remodeling of actin cytoskeleton that is required for cell movement and changes in cell shape okay so this ARP protein is not only making uh, the branching position but by um, via making this branching position this is actually helping uh, to make uh, the protein that to make to ready the cell uh, to uh, to finally accommodate actin filaments due to uh, ne due to the necessary conditions in the cell sometimes when cell need to produce uh, or, or need to elongate some portion of the cell uh, in, in case of the movement or in case of the cell division and all these procedures uh, this ARP protein is actually helping so you can see not not only the actin proteins are, uh, are the, uh, the actual controller of themselves but also they, they need other sufficient proteins other amount of uh, helping proteins to do their job okay and those proteins are profilin cofilin as well as ARP 2 and 3 okay so e along with all this proteins activity the actin filament can assemble themselves and make branch section of them and that will help them uh, to, to hold the structure of a cell together nicely that's it and I hope that's going to help you. Thank you.